this problem, we have an initial deposit right here. There is no monthly deposit. The interest is compounded monthly, but there's no monthly deposit. And they want to know how long will it take for the balance or the amount to increase to 7,800. So I do already have the answer here. We'll try to pretend like we didn't see it. That's the check at the end. All right, first thing, what row are we on? Well, we do not have periodic deposits. We definitely don't have withdrawals, nothing periodic. So we have one deposit, so it's one of these three. Now, which one is it? Well, we have compound interest, so it's not simple. So this first two rows are out. It's not simple interest, it's compound interest. So these next two rows are out. So we know right away we are in this third row here. Now there's three choices for formulas, one, two, or three. We have to decide which one it is. Now they're all solved for different variables. And we have a key down here, PN is the amount of time after, or the amount after N years. And we wanna know how long does it take your balance to increase. So we wanna know how long. So we wanna know time, so we don't need amount. We already have that. R is the rate. We don't need the rate, we were given the rate. N or T is a time in years since the first or principal deposit. So that's what we need right there is that last formula. So let's rewrite that formula. So we have log PN divided by P0 divided by k times log one plus r over k. All right, we need to write down what all of these variables are. Pn, that's the final amount, which is 7,800. Right there. 6,400 is the initial amount, which is P0, principal or initial amount. So that's 6,400. We have the rate right here, R, and it's 4.5. Now that's a percent, so it's 0 0.45. You need to make sure you turn it into a decimal. And of course, this equals 4.5%, but we need to turn it into a decimal, not a percent. Okay, once we have that in there, the last part we need is we have P0, Pn, R, we need K. So what is K? We'll look in here, it's the number of compounding periods in one year. So monthly is 12. Most problems are gonna have a monthly uh, K value, not all of them, but most of them are gonna have K value of 12. And we're ready to plug all these in. So we have log of, 7,800 divided by 6,400 divided by 12 times log one plus R over K, 0 0.045 divided by 12. Okay, so we have everything written out. Now we have to type it in. And what I'm gonna use is the Desmos calculator. It's available online, desmos.com. This is the scientific calculator. Um, you can see the address right there, desmos.com. And this is the scientific calculator. Let's go ahead, clear this thing out. So I'm gonna need to see both the calculator and my work. So on the numerator, I don't see a log function here, so I have to click on function. Now I have log, I already started parentheses, so I have 7,800 divided by 6,400, close parentheses, that wasn't the, not the close, there's an undo button, which is quite useful. So now I'm gonna do divided by, you can also do a fraction. Nope, that's not what I want. So I'm gonna click divided by, there we go. This undo button is very, very useful. That's one of the main reasons I'm using this calculator. 
and it's also a web resource so all of you can access this so there we go 12 times log is over in function back to main already gives you the parentheses so it's 1 plus 0 0.045 divided by 12 and you can also move the cursor uh, with the mouse which is how I move the cursor out and I know it's hard to see but it's 0 0.045 divided by 12 and now we hit enter well you can also see the uh, result right here even before you press enter so you don't need to press enter all right, so 4.404, and let's go back and uncover the answer we forgot about. Look at that, 4.4, and we are finished. Nice work. Make sure you see the flowchart. It's right there in week seven. It's the fifth thing down.